Hi, I'm Randy Reedus today in Lighting Monday, 18 July, sponsored by Kasambi, Lighting Control for the Modern World. Here are the stories making news. The Jonathan Spear Scholarship Fund was set up in 2013 to allow a student of architecture to investigate the study of architectural lighting design. This year's winner is Ernest Chen Yang of the Bartlett School of Architecture in London. IES and PNNL announced the second installment of their special five-part free webinar series, Taming Data Complexity, Thursday, 4 August. This seminar will focus on perspectives from a manufacturer and an architect on current roadblocks to achieve circular design practices. Green Creative has teamed up with three of the Northeast region's top agencies, Boston Light Source, Lighting Affiliates, and Visible Light Effective Today. On Friday, we published a story regarding the Strand Lighting Bankruptcy. Signify sent us to their website for more information. When we probed, they simply stated, we will not share anything further. We're not giving up. We're gonna to try to get in touch with some people we knew who were involved in the Signify Gen Light uh, acquisition in 2007. Hope to have more information soon. McClung International has an opportunity for an experienced product manager who will be responsible for driving the development, scaling, and deployment of McClung's award-winning lighting control product line. And the Dow was up finally on Friday. Had a nice day, 658, NASDAQ up 201. Acuity gained $2.70. Signify was up almost 3%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great week. Pray for peace.